Welcome to Launching the Pilot with your hosts, Brian and Paul. Launching the pilot episode one two five. Season, and this time we're doing nowhere, man. Yeah, man. Nowhere. Hey, man. Nowhere. Hey. <laughs> so, what can you say about this? You knew that was going to be play. <laughs> what other song could you make? <laughs> But this is the problem. I was going to say, stop that before Paul gets hold of us. We're <laughs> Mr. McCartney. <laughs> because when you search Nowhere Man, it always goes Beatles song first, Beatles song, Beatles song, LTV series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beatles song, Beatles song. <laughs> and, and the film, uh, The Boy from Nowhere, it seems to pop up quite a lot. <laughs> Beatles song, Beatles song. <laughs> <laughs> now, this starred Bruce Greenwood as Thomas Vale. Yeah, I never know who these people are, but yeah, I'll go with that. And Megan Gallagher as Alison Vale. And really, that's because the others aren't, they're in and out. You're not going to see a lot of them again. No. So, we start off at his exhibition. Yeah, I've got old, well, I thought at first, old World War Two pictures. That's what I thought as well, uh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's an art exhibition, and realised it wasn't. There were, no, no Vietnam. It was a bit Vietnam, I mean, it wasn't, yeah. Vietnam. I think it was actually a bit later than that, but yeah. yeah. Um, Tom's a bit bored, and he sort of grabs his wife, saying, you know, oh, can we get out of here? And she goes, no, it's your show, you've yeah. got to stay. Yeah, there's a lot of lingering, they show all the photos, it's, don't they? Yeah, so that's what you the, realise. The main photo. Oh yes, I can't remember what it's called now. Agenda, or something, secret yeah. agenda or something, wasn't it? Got it written down somewhere, but... And there's lots of people saying, oh, what wonderful eye you have to capture this, because he's a photojournalist. Yeah. But they look like standard run-of-the-mill pictures to me. I didn't see anything. Wow. You know. No, not really. Because uh, I thought this was an exhibition, but this is, is his actual studio where yeah, it works. Well, yeah, it's his exhibition, exhibition. isn't it? Yeah. So As you say, yeah, he, he's bored, he wants to leave, I've had enough of this. He hates all this. He does want to be famous. Yeah. His, his mate, Larry. Larry the, uh, Larry the Lurch. Is oh, there? yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you don't get to meet Larry. From what you get to know of him, you can see he's a complete tool anyway. Yeah. Because <laughs> he got that, not for me, this guy. How is this, how is this his best friend? Oh, I'm yeah, thinking. he does turn up. He does turn up because there's... Later uh, on, he does. There's a beautiful lady there. Yes, he is, and he's eyeing her up. Yeah, he's eyeing her up. And he, he says, goes, well, well, why don't you go for her, Larry? You know, you see... Because she's, yeah. she's giving him the eye, isn't she, yeah. at first? And he goes, oh, no, no, no. You go for it, Larry. You'll be all right there. And he... he he does sort of move off towards, towards her, her yeah. and then it breaks away. Because he the said scene. something about, well, I'm single, so it's okay yeah. for me. Whereas, you know, the marrow comfortable life you've got or something. Yeah, and it sort of breaks away at that point. How does it feel? Like Big Tommy is going to throw up. Can we go? No, we can't go. Don't what? you want people to see your work? The, the reaction's been terrific. They can see my work. Why do they have to see me? Oh, I get it. Everything in front of the camera is fair game, but the man behind needs to remain invisible. Look, if we leave, I'll buy you a steak, okay? Later. Baked potato, lots of sour cream, chives. Tom, you can't leave your own show. This is the big break you've been waiting for. Cheesecake for dessert. Another 15 minutes. I know the cheesecake is such. Well, that's the problem with marriage, no mystery. Trust me, you will always be a mystery. And I think is it the next scene? He's he's at the restaurant with his wife, isn't he? Yeah, they do leave. He convinces her by offering her a cheesecake. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. He said something else, and she said you would have had me at the cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Like, like me as well. Right. He would have me at the cheesecake as well. Oh, well I'm sure, he would have. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so they're they're having their meal and it's all nice, and then he goes off to the uh, men's room. 
it has a quick smoke and oh, that. Oh, there's a, there's a dropped tray. Yes, a drop tray. Yeah, now this seems to be important. Yeah. So he lingers on the drop tray. It does tray. linger on it, doesn't it? Yeah, and he, he goes off to the bathroom, doesn't he? Yeah. Why he takes his jacket, I've no idea. It's got to look cool. Yeah. So he goes to the bathroom and he wants to have a quick cigarette. He does, yeah. So this is obviously pre-smoking uh, ban. Oh, he, he's oh, going, yeah. he, he goes to the bathroom to have a cigarette. And he comes out of the bathroom. Yeah. And his wife's not there. Yeah, cheesecake's gone as well. Yeah. <laughs> Wife, cheesecake, all gone. All gone, all gone. <laughs> and he's standing there and he's looking and there's an old couple, isn't there? Yeah, sitting in the place they in. were. Yeah. And he's gone over and I forget who owned the... It's, the, it's like the maitre d', so we say. Yeah, that restaurant owner. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think it was the owner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fred who for all, uh, But he obviously knows him and he says, hey, um, Giovanni or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's... where's uh, I can't remember his uh, name. Alison. Alison, yeah, where's Alison? And he's he's who? looking at him, he's like, Who? Who? Yes, my wife. He goes, I don't know. Who, who are you? Yeah. Isn't it, sort of thing. He's looking at it because he doesn't know him. Yeah, he says, I, I, know, I don't remember you coming in or anything. He goes, no, no we were sitting there with this old couple. Yes, uh, these are the Pandersons or whatever. Yeah, they've yeah, been no, they're regulars. They're yeah, always sitting there. They that always table. sit at this table and they've been here. But, and like most restaurants, they have a bouncer. I noticed that. <laughs> I've got that yeah, yeah, yeah. bouncer in a restaurant. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Obviously, well, they respect the Andersons. Once she's had a few, she, she kicks off. Don't bit she? Of a handful. Yeah. yeah, she will kick off. You know that. That's why the bouncer's literally so close to that <laughs> yeah, table. That's what's lingering around. Yeah, because she's gonna go anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they ask him to leave. Yeah. Then, then they sort of force him to. Yeah, leave. the bouncer <laughs> just basically. Bounces him outside. Because he tries to talk to this old couple saying, look, look, I, it's a great joke. You've really done your bit well, you know. But yeah, she's exceeded herself. But yeah, time. I've had my laugh. It's not funny now. Now leave. Now they'll, yeah. they'll leave. Yeah, and let Alison come back. Or yeah. 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 And they're, they're just looking at him. She's going to kick off. Yeah. <laughs> the bouncer says, you better, go <laughs> <laughs> you better go now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gino. Did Allison change tables? Excuse me? Allison, as in my wife? Good smile, great legs, lousy tipper. She's not at our table. I'm sorry, sir. I really don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> sir, what are you kidding? We, we were just we were just sitting like between these two lamps here. Now there's, there's two other people at our table. Mr. and Mrs. Charney have said that Booth reserved every Thursday for the last 10 years. Oh, OK, OK, I get it. This is Allison's idea of a joke, right? <laughs> it's cute. Okay, I, I laughed. So where is she? Perhaps if you come to the front desk. No, no, can... no, Gina, Gina. The joke's over. So where is she? I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the restaurant, sir. You're serious, aren't you? What are you telling me? You don't remember seating us at that booth 20 minutes ago? Sir, please. This is no. This is this is ridiculous. I'm going to take it up with the Charneys. You are a very authentic looking older couple, but it's time to 86 the crumpets and scones. The joke's over. Sir, take please. your hands off my wife. Well, I'll take my hands off your wife if you'll return mine, okay? We can take our business outside. How far are you gonna take this, Gina? What, are you gonna bust my head open? I said we'll talk outside. You're picking up the check. So they throw him out. Yeah, and he really does throw him out, doesn't he? He gets all really leery yeah, with yeah. him, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Don't come back. This yeah. is a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he says, oh, I bet she's taking the car. He's saying that to himself. Yeah, so he, uh, he decides to phone home. Yeah, he does. And uh, the number's cut off. Yeah, the number that does not exist. This, yeah, sorry, this number you've got has not been connected, yeah. Who needs a soundboard? Yeah. Do it yourself. Beep, beep, beep. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, he takes a taxi home. Yes. You don't see him flag it down, but he, next minute he's in a taxi, taxi. and he's pulling up outside, isn't he? Yeah. There's a storm going on. and he, he goes to the front door, puts the key in, but it doesn't fit. It does, it's the wrong key. And uh, he's banging on the door. Oh. Hey, Alison, let me in, let me in. She, she opens the door, but she's got the security chain on and she, yeah yeah and she says who, who are you what do yeah. you want he goes what are you doing yeah, you know? yeah i'm your husband <laughs> yeah, yeah a joke's a joke, joke Adam, but you've yeah. really pushed it too far now come on i'm getting wet here i've had to pay for a taxi key doesn't fit you know what's going on 
and her husband appears. Yeah, with a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the bouncer had phoned ahead. This guy could be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that all the that they she, if she gets on the gin, she's out. Yeah, <laughs> it's best to have a shotgun. And he's all cocking the gun and yeah. making this. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. off you go then. Yeah. Don't bother us again. Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? It's not funny. If you're not out of here in the next ten seconds, I'm going to call the police. What are you doing? Come on, the joke's over. I'm cold, I'm tired. Let me in. Well, Newt, you're in on this too? Come on, what the hell is going on? Hey, Allison, you all right? Look, pal, why don't you go sleep it off somewhere? Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm her husband. I'm also the guy in the trigger under this shotgun. All right, look, conversation's over. Now, you can either turn and leave, or I can blow a hole in your leg, and we'll carry you out of here. And right, he right, goes. Slam, slam the door in his face, he says. Yeah. Then he gets another taxi. Yes. I think taxi's just everywhere. Yeah. Uh, to Larry's. Goes. Yeah. I, I guess it was Larry's. Well, this is why I wasn't sure, because... He goes to get money, doesn't he? And his bank card doesn't work. Oh, yes, counts. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, avoid. where is he? He keeps his card and everything, yeah. I'm not sure where he's actually supposed to be. Because no. is it Larry's? Because why has Larry got an ATM outside his house? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I think Larry was a banker. And well, all bankers have them. Is it the house. exhibition? Because he leans over the barrier yeah. and sees Larry driving, driving off, off, off with, with, the, the woman. with the woman from the exhibition. And calls after him, but Larry's gone. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Was it the exhibition? Yeah, not sure again. Yeah. But later it, it, on... It, it didn't look like the exhibition site. Because but that, he went upstairs. But later on, he does turn back up to the exhibition. He does. He and does. It, so it couldn't have been. So I'm not yeah. sure if Larry just has an ATM. Just to... <laughs> He gets a taxi back to his, his show, his studio. But his key doesn't work there either. No. And so he has to climb in through the top window. Yeah, he breaks into the exhibition. Uh, uh, but the, the main photo is gone, gone. isn't it? It's, 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 I can't remember what he's called. It is called something, It's called it? the uh, something agenda. I've, I've got... I've got... Oh, you think, you think my books are just for... I mean, stuff here. Propping up the door. It's a whole chapter on so, Nowhere, man. So, We've given up on Alexa and we've gone on to books. <laughs> this is where we've gone, folks. He's not mentioning this, but <laughs> Alexa's this, given up. This was three pound, three p on Amazon with one pound twenty eight postage and packaging. Still more interesting than. And Alexa. now I realise I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't actually read it. <laughs> I never had this a problem with Alexa. Yeah, well, you did because she didn't know anything. She'd just go, "It's a Beatles song." Yeah, yeah she would. <laughs> um, I think it's called Secret Agenda or something. The picture I'm just seeing. I did see it in here somewhere. Yeah. This is good. This is good podcasting. Don't worry. Don't worry. No one is ever going to listen to it. I just cut it all out. I keep it in. Just oh, hidden agenda. Hidden yeah. agenda. Hidden that's agenda. Hidden, anyway, that's gone. That's gone. <laughs> it's hidden. <laughs> the thing is, okay, say these government people have covered up their tracks really well. Yeah. But then we'll take the picture and leave the frame with yeah. the titles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought they'd put another picture in its place. Yeah, I'd expect that, but it's the only one that's gone, yeah. but we left the name of it. I yeah. know. Oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't replace it with anything else. Yeah, they could have just put a few spots on the wall. Yeah. In the agenda, that's it. Uh, anyway, so the picture's gone, isn't it? Yeah, he decides he's going to have a sleep there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how many people seem to keep spare clothes at their office. Because uh, he, he did. Uh, yeah. Uh, he has a dream, doesn't he? He's back in his... He's back in his house. Oh, yes. His yes. wife's in bed. He yeah. says, oh, it's a terrible. I'm going, I'm awake now. That was, and of course she turns and she hasn't got a face. No. She's faceless. Oh. But she does have eyes. Yes. Then he wakes up. Then he's back in his yeah, studio. he's back in his studio. And he starts uh, stalking the wife, doesn't he? Yeah, he goes back home, doesn't he? Back yeah. home, as it were, yeah. Uh, he stalks wife and 
he basically kidnaps her, doesn't he? Does she, she drop off the laundry? She goes that? to get groceries or something, something like that. Like, and yeah. when she gets back in the car, he's in the back. Yeah. But the grocery guy sees this yeah. and phones yeah. the police. But he's driving along and she she won't say, I don't know you, I don't know you. She, she says, I have no choice. Yeah, yeah. then she sort of confesses, doesn't she? That They would have killed him. Yeah, someone's after him and that they would, if she says anything, they will kill her and... He's got. Has he got kids? No, no he kids. doesn't. No, but they're going to uh, kill her, aren't they? And it's, it's hamster. <laughs> yeah. And so best to, you know, he's got to play along. Got to play along. Got to play along. And because the police pull him over. Yeah. And the cops nick him, don't they? Basically, they say, "Get well, out of the car." Well, he goes, well, well, they say, "It's all right, officer. This is my wife. Yeah. Just tell him, love." He says, I don't know who he is. Yeah. No. He, he just he, he's back in my car. I don't, and so then he gets a bit violent with the cop, doesn't he? Elbows oh, him. Oh, yeah. Mm. And the cop has to... Uh, the cop's a bit out of shape, I must say, <laughs> for a cop. But, he's just, but he, he does take him down. Yeah. Talk to me. What do you want me to say? Come on, Allison. What are the rules of the game here? I don't know Who what you... Who put you up to this? I don't know what you're talking about. Cut the crap. Just cut the crap, okay? It's about the photograph, isn't it? There's no way you could have got into my bank account, changed the locks all by yourself. Who are they, Allison? All right. They told me that if I said anything, they'd kill you. Who? Who are they? I don't know. Some men. But who? Government, military, That's what did I they know. say? I didn't want to put you in this situation. I didn't have any choice. I... They're watching me. They're watching you. I am not the enemy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I gotta think. There's gotta be somebody we can talk to. What do you want me to do? Just pull over, pull over. I doubt very much they got to the cops. What's the problem? You want to step out of the car, please, sir? Just move to the front of the vehicle, place your hands on the hood. All right, all right, all right. We got a call from Martins and Dry Cleaners about someone being in the back of your car. The person that called thought there might be some kind of problem. <laughs> There's no problem, officer. I'm her husband, so... Is everything okay, ma'am? Officer, please, this man hid in the back seat of my car. I've never seen him before in my life. He's insane. Allison, what are you saying? Stay away from me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't talk to me. Don't come to my house. But you just... What did you expect me to say? You're sick. You need help. She's lying. I don't know why, but somebody is making her do this. You've got to believe me. This woman is my wife. You have the right to remain silent. Anything Damn it, say. they're all lying. And then he's in the uh, mental institute. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's now at a psycho clinic. Yeah. In a straight jacket. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a fair leap, isn't it, from I've kidnapped a lady that, you know, I believe is my wife. I, you know, I give, the, give a copper a little bit of a nudge and all yeah, this, yeah. and now I'm in a straight jacket. Yeah. In, in, a, in a nut house. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a fair leap of uh, faith, this one, I'll give it that. Uh, it, it's, it's the, the Callaway uh, Psychiatric Hospital is where he's at. Well, I just, uh, was he sitting in a high chair? He was in a high chair. It's like a bar stool. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know. And even think, I'm waking up thinking, am I in a dream now? <laughs> oh no, the wife is here. <laughs> and you've got the doctor there, isn't he? Yeah. And he does this weird thing where he gets his, a cigar out and he pokes a pencil in the back of it. And... Yes, yeah, and he keeps saying that he is Thomas Vale. He's a famous, famous photographer. photographer. You must have heard of me. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the doctor's going, if yeah, that's what you think, yeah, yeah and all this. What you think. He says, well, you know, talk to my wife, my friends, my mother, but yeah. his mother's not close. It's, it's discussed earlier at the um, studio exhibition. Yes. So his mother wouldn't come to it because yeah, they're not kind the best of, of terms. She kind of disowned him, didn't yes. she, when he left home or something to do something. He, he left home, then his father left. 
Yeah, and she and blames, she blames him, him for going first, uh, making his father go, yeah, how did I know she, he was having an affair with someone? Yeah, but she always blames me. Yeah. And so we don't really speak. They haven't not spoken on, for years. No, they're they? not an eye to eye. And uh, yeah, so he says, go check my friends out. And then we've got another patient chats to him. And this is Eddie. Eddie, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> on the yeah. same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he says, you only ask questions, you know. He says, you don't have friends. Yeah, um, yeah your friends have all gone. gone. You, you, that's no, you have no family. You have You're no not asking now. the right questions. Yeah, ask about Dave Powers. Yes. Looks like you're going to be in art class for the long haul. I talked to Dr. Bellamy. I gave him some names. Well, there you go. Put your faith in the medical profession. That's a plan by Blue Cross. Listen, when he contacts my friends... You know, you listen, candid camera, who don't know dip about what he's into. You don't have any friends. Everything they give you, they can take back. Everything you thought you had, you don't. Absolute zero, gentle Jack. Bottom line. You saying that Bellamy is in on this? Tell you what. Next time you see him, ask him about Dave Powers. Now the, the, the field, I've got a field trip time. Yeah, I've got yeah, the, the head <laughs> shrink. Yeah, takes him out for a ride to see everyone. Yeah, as you would. Yeah, he doesn't well, have his straight jacket on. Just takes well, him take, out. Takes him to his studio. Yeah, go to the exhibition. It, and and, and um, Tom's going. Well, it's not open to everyone. You have to. Yeah, yeah, you can't just wander in. He goes, well, I've phoned ahead. Yeah, <laughs> and they just walk in, and there's like, a secretary there. Yeah, who yeah. doesn't know him? Yeah, and she, he goes. He doesn't know her. He doesn't either. know her. He's <laughs> going, well, who's she? Yeah, he goes, oh no, she's your. Uh, she's. She, I've, I've worked here for years. She's going. Yeah, isn't yeah. And she goes. No, you haven't. You know, yeah, and all yeah. this, and still the artwork is all there, apart from apart from hidden agenda, which still no one has put. <laughs> <laughs> it's still just it's just a brick wall, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and all his stuff has moved, isn't it? Yeah, all his paints and stuff. Because he, he goes to cover. This is where I keep my dangerous chemicals. Yes, but it's it's, it's and he and then he mentions about the negatives. He goes, well, they wouldn't have found the negatives. No one knows where I keep the negative. And he sort of gives it away, doesn't he? But, he... but the doctor gets a strange phone call, and it's it's a bit not now, almost. Just don't wait a minute. Yeah, because now you're thinking, ah, oh, something up here. Then he goes to get the negative, but he's only play acting. Yes, he's he goes, not really going to get negatives. He's old. He's, he's gone realised. Yeah, yeah. He goes, no, they've gone. Yeah, they've gone. gone yeah. He came in here and moved everything. They don't want to behave like this in a public place. I'm telling you, this is my studio. I built out this place. Somebody came in here and moved everything. Somebody paid that woman to sit there. And somebody pressured your wife. The negatives. They wouldn't know where I kept them. They'd never be able to find them. You hide your negatives. Hey, there's such a thing as healthy paranoia. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, we have. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, uh, no. Uh, later. Yeah, tonight. Uh, uh, Ten o'clock at the hospital. Yeah, okay. So, uh, sorry. Where were we? Ah, the negatives. Right. Well. Nothing? No. They must have found them. And you're sure you're remembering correctly? They should have been there. What are you feeling right now? Confused. A little less sure of yourself. Yeah. I don't know. Don't fight it. Confusion isn't necessarily a bad thing. Under the circumstances, being a little less sure of things might just prove to be the road to recovery. He's back now, and Eddie's playing table tennis with a singing player. Yes, he like is. he's singing all yes. the way. Uh, all the African American, shall we say? Yes, yes, yes. he's singing away. Uh, and Eddie repeats some of the words that the shrink had exactly. used. Exactly, word yeah. for word. Yeah, the, the shrink had used. 
I didn't realise, but then it's right. The, 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 the guy's singing about Jesus. And he is. thinks he's Jesus, yes. doesn't he? He's yeah. the second coming and all this, or he is the son of God. Oh, I'm not knocking that. Yeah, Eddie, how do you know what you know? Yeah. And uh, and who's the doctor meeting tonight? Because that's part of the phone call. Yes. The doctor's going to meet someone tonight. Yeah. Meet at 10 tonight. Yeah. They'll, they'll get a later night. It's, it's night time now. Now. What is going on? How come you know what you know? You don't want to get inside my head, furry friend. You've got enough problems of your own. Just tell me what you know. Did you ask the daring doc about Dave Powers? No. No, it didn't, uh, didn't come up. And you still haven't put it together. Put what together? Who's the doc meeting tonight at 10? Time for your medication. Here's to numb. This is a nut house. Yes, that's fair yeah. enough, yeah. It's not a nut house, it's yeah. an institute for helping okay. people yeah, okay. rehabilitate themselves. Apparently, who can just walk around at will <laughs> where they want. They don't lock the doors or anything. They put you in a straitjacket and a high yeah. chair, yeah. but you can walk around wherever you want. Not a problem. Yeah. And so he's walking around, isn't he? Sneaking. I've got yeah, he's sneaking. sneaking, yeah. And he spies on the doctor. Yeah. With, with who's the doctor with? Well, I, th I think we know. A woman. <laughs> you said it, sir. You said it, sir. A woman. <laughs> yeah. He's meeting a woman. And yeah. he eavesdrops on yeah. the conversation for about three seconds. And <laughs> they only go in the office for about three seconds she's, and they're out yeah. again. Yeah, that was quickie. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, it's just laughing and stuff. Yeah. There's a bit of this. And then he walks her out to his car. To yeah. her car, sorry. Yeah. And turns around and it's 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 the wife it's Alison it's the wife always the wife oh, what's yeah. going on here yeah oh. uh he wakes up it's about two o'clock in the morning I've got here because oh, the two orderlies grab him from behind and drug him yes yes right sorry yeah yeah, yeah. and drag him back in yeah he wakes, he wakes up, up in the bed two, two, two o'clock in the afternoon doesn't he yeah he's, he, he, he still just wanders around don't that doesn't he and he, he's like where's Eddie yeah he's going to see Eddie yeah and Eddie's gone a bit mad. Yeah. And he realised... He's got bandages on yeah. his head and everything. And, uh... Has he got... A, I can't remember, but he works out. He's had a... Is he... Does he know? He's had a frontal lobotomy, hasn't he? Yes. He, there's a chart at the end That's of the it. There's a chart, yeah. And he says... And he gives his name as David Eddie Powers. Oh. Uh, should have asked about Eddie Powers. Uh, yeah, he didn't. Uh... Yeah. Uh... The doc goes to see him, but surprise, oh. he's tied up the orderly in his bed. He has. And he's waiting around the corner for the doctor. Yeah. And, and he, he's got a syringe to his neck. Yeah, he grabs he grabs the doctor and yeah. he threatens that they've got to leave. Yeah. And uh, he says, we're going to get in your car and drive off. <laughs> and he says, act natural. This is pretty because he gets into the car, which he's driving, isn't it? Yeah. And the, uh, the, the security guy just opens the gate. He doesn't but check anything. He, drug, he injects the doctor at this time, so the doctor's slumped in the front. Yeah. And then the, the orderly, just, he just beeps as he drives out the orderly, <laughs> opens the gate, off you go. Off you go. Uh, is that the, the doctor you got slumped in the passenger seat? Fine. Fine, no must problem. Be all right. must yeah. be all right. <laughs> he goes to the, uh, back to the studio, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, where he fakes some ID. Yes, he's got the doctor tied up in a chair, but he's got all the equipment to fake ID. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he's got all this stuff. He's a photojournalist. You probably need it all the well, time. Yeah, probably. Getting in and out of Disneyland and stuff. And <laughs> he fakes all this ID and he collects the negatives. Which were hidden in a vent. Yes. I think if you're searching anywhere, I would have looked in the vent quite early quite on. Quite possibly, yeah. But obviously this government conspiracy, whatever it is, that's a vent. Should we look in the vent? Nah. Oh, that was good. There idea. might be a spider in there. I'm not, I don't want to go where <laughs> yeah. the spiders might be. Yeah. Rats as well. Oh, oh God. No, 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 no. Let's not look. Yeah. Yes, let's not. Let's just say we did. But the thing is, when he pretends that they've got the negatives early on, they know they haven't got the negatives because yeah. this is what they want. So they know they're in, in there. there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, he covers the doctor, or yeah, I suppose the doctor, in chemicals, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a flammable chemical. Yeah, it, like. yeah, he's gonna he's gonna burn him. He goes, I'm, uh, since you, know, you took my identity, I'm gonna take yours. Yeah. He goes, I hope these credit cards are all right. You've got here. Yeah. And I'm just applying what I've learned in the last few days. I mean, if a man's identity is so tenuous, so fragile, if I can't be Tom Vale, well, I might as well be you. How's your credit limit? There's nowhere to go. They'll find you. They. And who are they, doctor? Or is this just a raving of a paranoid lunatic? You have no idea what you're up against. Then tell me. Thanks. But death at your hands is a preferable alternative. How'd you get to my wife? What did it take? That's your basic problem. You don't seem to understand that in the end, most people choose to cooperate. Under a great deal of threat and pressure. You'd be surprised. Would I? Now, the orderlies have turned up with machine guns. Right, <laughs> <Please, please. laughs> it's It's a tough institution. You can wander wherever you like, but if you leave the ground, we're coming with machine guns. <laughs> and the doctor says, get him or whatever. But they yeah. shoot the doctor. Yes. They think he spilled his guts. Yeah, think... yeah. What well, he has now. Yeah, he has now. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's all over. <laughs> uh, as, as all places do, it blows up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Well, it came. And there was. <laughs> <laughs> it came. Uh, he phones Larry, doesn't he? he don't, yeah, but he can't get an answer. Yeah, no, Larry's not home. Uh, now, this was a weird thing. When he, when he was back at the... Uh, Lab, no, 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 I was going to say laboratory. When he was back at the studio, he, yeah. he's doing the fake idea. He's got a bag, hasn't he? He's throwing all these bits. He yeah. throws the yeah. negatives yeah. in. Orderlies turn up. Kaboom! There was a big earth. He, he grabs the bag as he runs out. Yeah, but how did the bag survive? Because yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was a tough bag. He's a photojournalist. He oh, well, yeah. countries. Well, I I thought he didn't have it with him when he, he, he did. Yeah, yeah well, he I, does. I, I did double check. I wasn't sure he had it with him. No, the place did, blew he up. Grab, he did grab it. Okay, I'll let him off. But yeah, he, he goes to Larry's now, doesn't he? Yeah, because uh, he, he, he speaks to a secretary at Larry's, but. And he doesn't know the secretary. No. He says, who are you? And they're like most of the people he's talks to. Yeah. But Larry's not there. So he goes to Larry's place. Yeah. The door's suspiciously open. Yeah, and there's underwear everywhere. And With he's like, oh, female underwear. Female which, underwear, and yeah. whatever Larry gets up to is fine in his own oh, yeah. privacy, of his own home. We're not told if it's a weekend or not. <laughs> no. So, you know. So, yeah, female underwear everywhere. So, yeah, then there's okay. a shower. You hear the shower running. Yeah, so he goes and, into the shower. And you see a silhouette. And he's like, oh, okay. I thought, oh, we're going to find Larry dead in here. I was, I was ready for it. I was yeah. ready for it. But then it's a suit hanging up. Yes. In the shower. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So uh, Larry's not in there. No. So he goes, oh, well, I'm going to have to borrow some of Larry's clothes. Yes. Because he's still in the all white. No, well, jumpsuit. Uh, yeah. The, straight the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to call jacket, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and he opens the wardrobe. And. Dead, yeah, Larry. Larry. Dead, Dead Larry. Larry. Spider had him. Yeah. Larry, had, Larry had a good part in this programme. Yeah. yeah. So he phones his mum, doesn't he? Yes. And she doesn't answer. Someone else answers. Someone else answers. So can I take a message? Yeah. Just, no. No. So he flies to his mum's farm. Iowa, I think it was. Iowa. Was it? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it was Iowa, because I remember the hit they had. You know. <laughs> Disco. <laughs> oh, there you go. V.I. <laughs> to go see her. Yeah. And strange woman is there. Yeah. Yeah. But she's a nurse, apparently. She's, yeah, apparently she's the nurse. And mum's not well. She's, she's had, had a stroke. stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Can I help you? I don't know, that depends. Who are you? I'm Helen's nurse. Who are you? Her nurse. I'm her son. What's wrong? Why does she need a nurse? You're her son? Didn't you know? Your mother had a stroke six days ago. Excuse me. 
and he's not convinced by this because everything that's happened to him so far, he's not. But yeah. he, he's sitting there. He goes, "Hi, mum, it's me." It's, it's and she's Tom, talking. You know, yeah, yeah. Marine. She's, she's, yeah, yeah. She does at one point say, "Tom." Yeah, Tom. But then the cop shows up. Yeah. And I, yeah. It, no, I can't work out if the cop was there to see the nurse. Like there was a thing between. Yeah, them. I, I, I think they're supposed Just to be. Because otherwise, why would he just show up? Yeah. And then the vicar. And then the vicar turns up. I wasn't sure, did the vicar come with the copper? Because they're quite close <laughs> together as they walk through the door. No, I think they come in separate cars. Or was it Father <laughs> Brown? I think, I think this was the cop. This nurse, she's all right, I think I might marry her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, vicar, jump in. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so lucky I've already called the vicar. <laughs> Hello, I'm Father Ralph Thomas. I'm from St. Anne's. Sue tells me that Helen is your mother. You're from St. Anne's. What happened to Father Kearney? I'm afraid he passed on about six weeks ago. He had a good heart. May rest in peace, but not a strong one. I find it interesting that Helen never said anything to me about having a son. And in six weeks, you really got to know her. I'd say I did, actually. We had a number of little talks. She never mentioned you. Yeah, well, it's me. I'm right here. Helen, it's Ralph Thomas. Hello, Father. Helen, this young man has been telling us that he's your son. Tom. My son. I was surprised because you've never mentioned him. My son is dead. I have no son. And they don't believe him because the vicar goes, well, I'm from St. Whatever Parish. God knows what his mum's and, Mary. And, 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 um, She's never mentioned you. Yeah, and Tom's going, what happened to Father, whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, oh, he, he's no longer with us. Yeah, well, yeah, that was he a scandal. passed away. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with choir boys. <laughs> and he goes, well, why has my mum ever mentioned you? Yeah. He goes, well, she's never mentioned you either. Yeah, you think she'd mention her son. But then she starts murmuring. She starts saying, yeah, Tom, 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 Thomas, Tom. Thomas, Thomas. He goes, I'm right here, Mum. <laughs> and, the, and the vicar's talking to her. He says, if you're, is this man here saying he's your son? And she goes, Thomas, Thomas. Thomas is dead. <laughs> yeah, I have no son. Thomas so is the, dead. So the copper goes to arrest him. Yeah. But then he, he rustles. The copper down, yeah. takes his gun, yeah. and he holds the nurse as hostage. Oh. Classic move. Classic move. Always. Always. And I thought, oh, well, maybe this nurse is going to be part of his... And she's eventually going to come around and help him. And yeah. No, no, he leaves her. <laughs> yeah. He does actually do one good thing. He shoots the tyres out the cop car as he leaves. Yes. Which, oh, sensible, at least. Yeah, no. You'd think. Yeah. Oh, now, he drives away in his yeah. rent. It's a rental car, oh, isn't yeah. it? And the copper puts a couple of bullets into the car. And he's, he's not got getting his money back on that car. Yeah. Now, my point was, why didn't the copper take the nurse's car or the vicar's car? Because surely... Well, the vicar only had a bike. <laughs> That's right. It's Father Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but surely the, the nurse must have had a car. She lives Or there. mum <laughs> must have had a car. She's got a tractor. There it's must have been other cars around, <laughs> but apparently not. The, the nurse uses a golf, golf buggy and the, the mum's got a tractor. So, yeah. Or a flying car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But the car, I thought, was going quite well, uh, yeah. considering the amount of bullets that he took. Yeah, going quite well. Good rental. And then apparently not. No, then he just <laughs> cocks out completely, doesn't he? Yeah. Now, when he's driving along and suddenly the engine sort of smokes and that, yeah. it's one background. When he gets out of the car, it's, it's a completely different background. No, I didn't notice this. <laughs> it maybe it rolled for a bit. Possibly. <laughs> for a fair few miles, I think, because there weren't much else around to... Into another county. <laughs> no, you know how much I love the walking. You, do, you are a man for walking. Uh, the Planet of the Apes cartoon series, fantastic bit of 
walking. Well, I think it was like 10 minutes worth of walking in that. And a bit more walking. Without any dialogue or anything. No. Absolutely fantastic. Just walk. Fantastic animation. Yeah. And now he walks for a bit. Yeah. And he reaches a crossroads. Exactly. Now there's a metaphor, isn't <laughs> it? Like, I've got it here. He's at a crossroads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he sits down. And then um, an old truck pulls up with a guy and a dog. I've got a man on a noisy bike at first comes Oh, past. there is that. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't stop pointing me. No, no. But the guy in the, the um, uh, Jeep, well, oh, Jeep, what do you call it? Pickup truck. Pickup, Pickup truck, truck, yeah. And with he, the dog. He's driving, yeah. not the dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and says, uh, hey, hey, boy, would you like a lift? Because it's a long way to town. And he starts using some of the same dialogue. And he gets a scar out and does exactly the same thing as the uh, scartrist did with yes. it. Yes, and he's and using yeah, he a pencil down. in the end. And uh, he goes, no, and he backs off. Yeah. And he goes, well, there won't be another um, car along here for a long time. You yeah. Know. You best uh, take your options while you can. And he goes, no, it's okay. And then, then the guy talks to the dog. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the dog answers back. back. Well, says, well, my fault. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> that was you that time, yeah. not me. <laughs> And he drives off. And he goes off. And, and that's it. That's it what it sort is. of pans away from him, doesn't it, the camera? At, at, at a big crossroad. Yeah. And, and, and that's it. And that yeah. was it. Yeah. Wendy! Yes. You look like somebody who needs a ride. Which way are you headed? Which way are you going? That way. Oh, that's where I'm going. We're going as far as Downey, though. Downey sounds good. You don't mind if I smoke? I mean, uh, my car are my rules, right? I ain't got it all day, mister. You know what's good for you, you won't pass up this ride. Not too much traffic out this way. Hey, buddy. Have it your way. Tell me about it, Scout. One hell of a long afternoon for that fella. No, I haven't really got... There's not a lot I found about this. I found about one thing. I could tell you a lot about the Nowhere Man song from the Beatles. Oh, well. But I have got, got One season. One no, season. 95, 96. Yes. 25 episodes. Yes. The only fact I found out about it... Yeah. ...was that he was a government agent, apparently, and the whole thing is supposed to be... A setup, is it? Gem the Gemini project or, or something? Is it? Oh, well, it's more than I found out. Well, it's about the only thing I found out. <laughs> I shall. Um, well, I felt he well, never was married or something. Oh, was it? Well, the thing is, they knew they were being cancelled, so they wrapped it up. So it does have a conclusion. Yeah, I think this, this is where yeah, it's, where it's supposed be to be. And uh, uh, you won't be surprised that the influences for this program were the Fugitive and the Prisoner. Mm. <laughs> so. I am not a number. <laughs> I am a free man. Yeah. <laughs> that, or maybe not. More or less. Yeah. The whole. I think the premise was that he goes around trying to prove who he is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The idea is also it's it's the picture, isn't it? There's something in the picture. That, it's the, yeah. The, it's, it's, it's the general, isn't thing. it? Yeah. It's the government. Because I think it, the picture is supposed to depict there's a, a an American soldier, it general, looks like, major. It looks like a, a, like a um, uh, was it assassination squad? Or yeah, like? yeah. Because there's a load of prisoners all tied up, and yeah, he's obviously, he's pointing at them, and yeah. And obviously, it's some sort of conspiracy cover up, and that he shouldn't. Have... It's the negative they're after. Yeah, yeah. I've got a trailer here somewhere. 
Trader Park. Trader Park? <laughs> Thomas Bain was a shooter. I feel like Cap did something extraordinary. He took a picture he shouldn't have taken. They're watching you. He was at the right place at the wrong time. What the hell is going... Now his entire life is about to be taken away, even his past. Who are they, Allison? But the secret he's hiding the is keeping him alive. Most people choose to cooperate. The chase has just begun. Those Greenwood stars in Nowhere Man. There you go. Now that makes it sound exciting. It does, doesn't it? Wasn't. <laughs> uh, did you recognise uh, Bruce Greenwood for anything? Possibly not, although I may have seen him from future programs. <laughs> like my last thing in she when I recognised that one day he will make a good <laughs> Well, I, I recognised him straight away as being um, like Admiral Pike in Star Trek, the reboot, 2009. Oh, well, there you go. He was in that. He was also the president in Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh, was he? Yeah. Ah, oh, well. But I've seen him in lots of things. I think he's one of them. I actually recognised the nurse, but apparently nurse. didn't. Oh, right. I, I thought, I'm sure I've seen that person yeah. before. And when I looked it up, no, I had. Well, I probably had. Yeah, but... I recognised his uh, wife, Megan Gallagher, because she was in that um, spin off from the X Files, Millennium, if you remember that one. They... It's a very dark program. They make the X Files look like a fun filled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> vaguely, vaguely. They did a little documentary in 2005 about the Nowhere Man. Oh, I did that. The DVD release. Oh. Called Factual Fiction, Nowhere Man. Uh, I think we're saying fiction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I've come out on it. And uh, there's a, a bit, apparently, an open narration on every episode, but you don't get it on this first one. It says, <laughs> My name is Thomas Bale, or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. A wife, Alison. Friends. A career. And in one moment it was all taken away, all because a single photograph. I have it, they want it. They will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof of these events are real. I know they are, they have to be. I know they are, they have to be. Okay. That makes sense. No, that, that doesn't make sense to me at all. <laughs> I'm sure I read in my Wikipedia thing, because I, you know me in Wikipedia. Oh, you that, love the Wikipedia. But the whole premise was that. It's all a set up. Yeah. The whole thing. He never was a photographer to start with. He never was anything. He yeah. was some sort of secret government agent. All oh, right. Uh, I've got little bits here that, um, unlike like the fugitive and stuff, he never goes into anyone's confidence. He doesn't believe or trust anyone ever. So he's always on his own. That's that's fair play. I don't yeah. mind that. That's, that's... That's what well, I'm like on a day to day basis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really say about the uh, ending. I think it did on Wikipedia. Yeah, it says on the internet, fans of the show dubbed Nowhere Man. They, uh, they, they scoured it for clues as to what was going on, and the others were frustrated because there weren't any. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like this podcast, yeah. really. People are scouring it for a, 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 what, there's a clue of what the hell they're on about, yeah. and there isn't any. There you go, creator and executive blue and Lawrence. Is that Hog? Hogwarts? Yeah. <laughs> I cut that bit out. <laughs> yeah, I won't worry about it. No one's going to notice. No. <laughs> Glasses aren't that strong. Uh, US premiere the 28th of August 1995. Uh -huh. UK premiere the 3rd of August. Third of, sorry, 3rd of October, 1995. Is it showing in here? On Sky One. Oh. <laughs> That's why I didn't see it. I was going to say. Hedzog. Lawrence Hedzog. That's ah. it. Yes. So what do you rate this then? Rate it. Do you want to give it a score? Not really. Okay. I Just... thought it was awful. I thought, um, I'm guessing at the time it would have been all right. I'm not even sure then. 1995, but... Uh, I got a bit bored. I got on the extremely <laughs> bored by it. Yeah, yeah, we get it. The trouble is with these conspiracy. Yeah. No one knows who. You, there's always going to be something that says who you are nowadays. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not like they went on these Facebook page and changed the status. No. no. <laughs> Single. <laughs> Single. <laughs> <laughs> I was not buying it. No, um, I found it quite boring. 
I got the premise. The premise isn't hard, but it just seemed like so many other programs that we'd seen. Yeah, it was. It was the, the prisoner with conspiracies and stuff. Yeah. And no one believed who they, who it was. Fugitive, go from town to town. Yeah. Stuff. You could see how it was going to go. And yeah, it's lucky you got one season, I think. Yes, I think it was. Yeah, it's. I, yeah, I just found it quite boring. There was no real. You weren't even buying into him that much. It no, like, mm. it, 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 I just didn't. Ugh, I, I couldn't get behind the premise that why would the government go to all this trouble just to get one negative? They yes. just, just shoot him and burn the place down. Sorted. Yeah, that's what I get. I, yeah, it's like yeah, okay, he's got one neck. Okay, you can't risk. That there, I suppose the idea being they, did, that they didn't know if he'd made a copy of the negative. Yeah, and there was more of them, and it was going to as as in other TV shows have said. Yeah. if you kill me, it will be released upon my death. It's in a strong but box somewhere. He didn't know the importance of the photo. No, he had no that idea is. about it. It was just a photograph. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was, was it. a so-called powerful photograph of yeah. this general, major, sergeant, God knows who else, but in front of these prisoners. Yeah. But you had no idea. No. I dare say that perhaps there would be, he'll have flashbacks, he'll remember taking the photograph, you yeah. might see the soldier's face, you might look round, you might realise, oh yeah, it's so, yeah. yeah. But you're not going to watch the other 24 episodes to find to out. find out, no. <laughs> but like you, it's like, well, just take him as captive, torture him. Yeah, and you soon give it up. You'll soon give it up, yeah. Yeah. And if, if the photo does come out, you'll just deny it, and that, that's that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> To make one person's life completely disappear would be quite hard work and take lots of money. But to make one person disappear, I don't think it'd be that hard. No. <laughs> no. That's the robbery gone wrong scenario, isn't it? Yeah. It'll, it'll, you know, yeah, yeah it, it just didn't quite make sense why they would do this as a TV. And just over a photo, I just don't... It just didn't seem big enough. No. Unless there was more to it than... Uh, yeah, but it wasn't explained if there was. No. And you just felt that, you know, as I say, why you just take him as captive. You had him. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of fans of this programme, but... Yeah, I'm sure there is. I'm not one of them. <laughs> no. no, I wasn't one of them. A score out of ten? I can't remember any of my past scores, but it makes no odds. No, it doesn't. It's, you're scoring this <coughs> on its own merits. Though. Yeah, so therefore... I'll I mean, the only, it... only score you've got wrong in recent... What do you mean it's wrong? Wrong. It's Cobra Kai giving it only a three. That's obviously wrong. Uh... <laughs> but it was worse than that, so I'll go two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three. I'm a bit more generous. It was, it was, it was okay. The acting was okay, but the story just didn't. I don't think even me. that back then, if I'd have watched it, I don't think I wanted to watch you, another episode. episode. No, I really don't. It's I, no Hulk, is it? No, <laughs> it, it really didn't make me want to watch any more of this ever again. No, that's that's done now. <laughs> and having talked about it, having. Having watched it and now had to relive it by talking it has, has depressed me. <laughs> <laughs> I've relived it now twice. You say never again. Never, never again. Never again. <laughs> yeah. If only, if only the dog had have spoke at the end of it, would have that picked would it good, up. It? That would have picked it up for me. <laughs> if he's at the crossroads, a truck pulled up. And there's a, a the gorilla. dog would have been driving, smoking a cigar, <laughs> would have been much, much more believable and better. Oh, my way. <laughs> like Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> or an alien spacecraft that have come down the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the kaboom? L <laughs> little aliens organised it. Yeah. Well, I, I could have lived with that. Yeah. It turns out it's all experiment. Yeah. Then. I would have lived with that, but no. No, they didn't. <laughs> or a rabbit would have appeared and have gone. I should have turned left at Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> but no. <laughs> but obviously I, I can see it was going to be, he's looking for the answers week to week, goes to places, help somebody out. And you, you know at every point someone is going to say a phrase that's already been said in the... It looks like it, isn't it? Yeah, that maybe the doctor had said or someone had said. Yeah. <coughs> and he was going to recognise those phrases yeah. and he'd be then like suspicious and he'd move away from them he's not going to trust anybody maybe the nurse, someone that the nurse had said or so, and he's going to keep oh. trying to go back to mum yes because she wasn't dead was she no she was only in and but... she was only saying he's dead to me but it doesn't mean that, yeah he wasn't he died it could be that she's just so cross with him still still that, yeah that she's saying that he's dead so I think he would still try and got back to mum 
and that would have been his weak point, and of obviously Alison. Yes. Because she's confessed that she knows, and... Oh, did she? Or was she just playing along? Oh, yeah, this is, sure. it was like, oh, God, I don't care. I didn't care. Yeah. yeah. There's so much ways you could get around things that... Mm. It just... Yeah. Just torturing, for God's sake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why go the long way? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway, and that's that. And next week? And next week, where are we? Oh, yeah, one... Yeah, yeah. Early edition. Early edition, yes. Uh, this is about the guy who gets the newspaper from the future. I used to watch this. And I used to watch it as well, so it yep. should be nice and easy for us. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch this. I enjoyed it, if I remember, at the time. Yeah, will it hold up? <laughs> will it be a nowhere man? Will it? Oh, oh don't, don't, don't kill it already, for God's sake. <laughs> I might have a fond memory of this one. <laughs> he had a cat as well. Wasn't there a cat involved? I'm sure. I think there was a cat. But I don't think it talked, unfortunately. <sighs> <laughs> oh why? Why are they, they, there's so much well, they could do wasted, with these. Wasted, wasted yes, opportunities. They could do so much with talking animals. <laughs> <laughs> but if we're Mr. Ed, yeah, <laughs> career out of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, until right, next week then. Yes, that will be all.